It is clear that today's discussion takes place against the backdrop of atrocity crimes being committed at a scale and ferocity not seen in years, with little regard for international human rights and humanitarian law. We are witnessing deliberate attacks against civilian and non-military infrastructures, such as hospitals and schools, leading to large-scale civilian casualties. And we are seeing rampant sexual violence, the denial of life-saving aid, and widespread and systematic targeting of specific ethnic groups that could amount to acts of genocide. None of these crimes is inevitable or a byproduct of conflict. All atrocity crimes are preventable and can never be justified. And this was the reason for my letter, my official letter to the Security Council last August on the plight of the Rohingya in Myanmar. 